Airports and airplanes tend to be the least favorite part about travel for many. But over the years, I've made the journey to my destination just as exciting as any part of my trip with these airport and airplane hacks. By the end of this video, you'll be excited about the airport and airplane experience rather than dreading it. These hacks will help you get free stuff, have a faster, smoother, stress-free airport experience, including skipping those awful security lines, prevent you from losing your luggage, or having to check your carry-on and have a much more comfortable flight. Plus, I'll be sharing this awesome new carry-on luggage that you will never be asked to check, no matter how small or full the overhead bin is. Curbside check-in is a game changer when it's busy inside. It's offered by many airlines and airports worldwide, letting you check in before even entering the terminal with the help of airport staff who handle everything. You'll enjoy perks similar to those at an airport check-in desk, like choosing your seat, dietary preferences, and paying for upgrades and baggage fees. Plus, you can print your boarding pass and head straight to your flight once checked in, saving you time to shop, eat, relax at your gate before you take off. It's a good idea to check online with your airline to see if they offer it at your departure airport. And if they do, the services are usually available during the same hours as standard check-in. Traveling carry-on only is something you've either done already or something that you've been wanting to do, but I'm going to share something that will take carry-on only to the next level, and that's Nomad Lane. Nowadays, it isn't uncommon for an airplane to have no overhead space for your carry-on. So you're told you need to check your carry-on, which defeats the purpose of going carry-on only. It's literally such a pet peeve of mine. But with this Nomad Lane V4 bento bag, you don't have to worry about that happening. This bag has several thoughtful features for travelers. It opens down the middle like a suitcase, has a padded laptop sleeve that fits 16 inch laptops on one side and a place for clothing on the other, an external water bottle holder that can zip away when you're not using it, and a trolley sleeve that slips over another suitcase if you do want to bring another one. If you don't want to bring another suitcase, this part can be converted into another pocket for additional items. It also comes with a toiletry pouch, tech organizer, and detachable adjustable shoulder crossbody strap. This bag is great for weekend trips, short business trips, or if you're really looking to travel with less, then I definitely recommend you also go check out my minimalist packing hacks video so you can learn some really good hacks for packing less in this bag. My number one packing rule is if you can pack what you'll use in a week in a carry-on, then you don't need any more than that even if you're traveling for months or even a year. You just need to have access to laundry facilities each week and you're good to go. Everything else that you need along the way can be purchased in the countries you visit. This bento bag is seriously my new favorite because it's practical, it keeps my items organized, it's made from really great quality material that will last, and it forces me to leave the things I really don't need at home when I'm packing for my travels. And I never have to worry about needing to check my carry-on, no matter how small the airplane overhead bin is, because it fits so nicely under my seat. I don't even need to put it in the overhead bin. So I know it's guaranteed that I will not lose my luggage from the airline misplacing it or from a tight connecting flight. Also, I save time when checking in because I don't have to wait in line to check my bag or to pay additional baggage fees. If you do decide to check your luggage, wait in the line closest to the business class passenger line. Once the business class line is done helping customers, they tend to help the economy line closest to them. And since there aren't that many people checking in for business, your chances of jumping to that line and getting served faster is high. Make your flight confirmation your phone lock screen image. If you are planning to travel carry-on only, which I do recommend, then another way to speed things up once you get to the airport is to check into your flight the night before and then download your boarding pass, screenshot it, and make it your phone lock screen image. This way you don't need to search through your phone looking for your flight information to anyone who's asking for it. And once you do get to the airport, you can go straight through to airport security. Print a copy of your boarding pass at the airport. If you do have a long travel day with multiple connecting flights, I do recommend printing your boarding pass as well. In case your phone dies, breaks, or you lose it, it's good to have a backup boarding pass. Use clear TSA approved bags for all your liquids. The Nomad Lane V4 Bento Bag comes with a TSA approved toiletry bag, which is what you will need to breeze through security. One of these bags is especially important when you're traveling through the US, where if you don't have items in a clear bag, they make you take out all of your liquids and put them in a clear Ziploc bag that they give you. And then you have to wait in line again and scan your items again, and it just takes up more time. 
Speaking of clear TSA Ziploc bags, you can also grab a bunch from security on your next trip and keep them for your upcoming travels if you want to store your liquids this way. Booking a security line time slot. This option is available in many major US and Canadian airports using reserve in US and Europe or Express in Canada, both powered by Clear. You go to the website ahead of time and you choose the time you want to go through security so you can bypass the line. And it gets you in front of the line access to security screening so you do not have to wait. And it is a free service. And they give you a 20 minute wiggle room before and after in case you are running late or you get to the airport a little bit early. There's also a paid option with Clear called Clear Plus, which is an annual membership that keeps you moving faster and easier through security at 55 plus airports across the US. You simply step up to a pod in one of the clear lanes and verify you are you and you don't need to make a reservation ahead of time. Expedite security using a VIP line. If you have a travel rewards credit card like the American Express Platinum, then you'll have access to entirely different security lines at some airports. You just flash your card and you get through. These lines are always short, just another perk of travel rewards cards, which I'll share more about later in this video. Breast pumps do not count as a carry-on or personal item. It actually counts as a medical device so you can carry it separately. You can bring breast milk through security. You can bring full bags of breast milk that are over 100 milliliters along with an ice pack and a cooler to assure proper storage. You can bring coconuts through security. Might not be able to pass through security with bottled coconut water, but with an actual closed coconut, you can. Tried and tested. And you can bring a metal straw so you can just pop it right into the coconut easily and you'll be good to go and this will keep you hydrated during your flight. You can bring any frozen beverage on board, regardless if it's 100 milliliters or more. As long as it's frozen solid, when you pass through security, you can travel with it, even if it's over 100 milliliters. This is because explosives and flammable products do not freeze. Order food and beverages straight to your gate and avoid waiting in line. There are a few apps that you need to know about that will save you from waiting in lines at the airport. The first is the Starbucks app, so you can order your coffee ahead of time so you don't have to wait in line, especially important for those early morning flights. Another app is at your gate and it delivers food and drinks right to your gate. It's like Uber Eats but in the secure airport area. All you do is download the app and select your restaurant and the delivery spot. And currently it's available in 17 US airports but they're expanding to 90 more. There's also the app Grab which allows you to see restaurants along the way to your gate or anywhere else in the terminal. Then you can order ahead of time and just head to the counter of that restaurant and pick it up without having to wait in line. It's available in airports in North America, Europe, Australia, and Dubai. Use a luggage travel cup holder. This one I purchased on Amazon and it slips right over your luggage handle and can fit your phone, water bottle, coffee, passport, and boarding passes so you don't have to go and juggle everything or try to juggle all the things while walking through the airport or even boarding your flight. You can find me talking about this travel cup holder as well as my other favorite Amazon travel essentials that you absolutely need to get in this video that's going to pop up somewhere up here. Yep, go check that out. Get access to airport lounges for a discount or free. When you're not being hassled at security checkpoints, you're spending way too much time and money finding reasonably priced healthy food options, if there are any, and a comfortable place to relax before a flight. But enter airport lounges. They provide a laid back and comfortable environment amidst the hustle and bustle of busy terminals. They have comfortable seating, food, drinks, internet, and sometimes even showers and sleep areas. A day pass for these lounges can run anywhere from $35 to $80 per visit, but there are options that have access to lounges in airports all around the world for a discounted fee. And one way is with airline rewards cards. Many airline credit cards grant cardholders access to their lounges. These credit cards usually come with a heavy annual fee, but honestly, if you're traveling often, it's worth it because they also come with perks like free checked bags, priority boarding, and annual credits towards airline elite status. I have the American Express Platinum Travel Rewards Card, which provides airport lounge access at thousands of lounges worldwide. The annual fee for this card is 800 Canadian, which seems like a lot, but along with lounge access, it comes with a $200 credit to use for any flight or hotel, a $200 dining credit to use at many restaurants, travel insurance, and several other perks, including skipping the long airport security lines. 
You can also get yourself a priority pass, which gives you access to over 1,400 airport lounges around the world. Annual fees start at $99 all the way up to $470 US dollars. And the mid-tier is for people who are traveling regularly, and it gives you 10 free lounge passes and $35 guest passes if you want to bring a friend with you. Speaking of $35 guest passes, people sometimes sell these passes on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or Kijiji. So you can find them there and get lounge access at a discounted rate. Use LoungeBuddy to find lounges in the airport. LoungeBuddy is an all-in-one free app, iOS only, and website that helps you score lounge access all over the world. It's got the lowdown on airports and lounges worldwide, complete with pics, reviews, and info on how to get in, whether it's with a travel rewards card or through your frequent flyer status. You just plug in your credit card details and it tells you which lounges you can chill in during your trip. Plus, you can even book single-use lounge access for just $25 per visit. But here's the catch. Single-use access is only for American Express card holders. Yet another reason to get this card. Take a rest in a sleeping pod. Ever been stuck with a flight delay or on a crazy long layover? We've all been there. But hey, there's a cool solution, and that is sleep pods. They are like mini hotel rooms right in the airport. Picture this comfy bed, secure storage for your stuff, and even charging points for your gadgets. It's like having your own cozy spot to crash while you're waiting for your next flight. And the best part, you pay by the hour, and you usually have up to 12 hours max that you can use it. Use Flightware to keep tabs on your flight. Flightware allows you to track your flight for free and see for any delays quicker than when you would find out at the airport by the airline. Sometimes you're at the gate and you know there's an obvious delay, but nothing has been announced yet. So you can check FlightAware and you can actually see where the plane is on a map and it also tells you how long the delay will actually be. Use a VPN to connect to airport Wi-Fi. I don't just use a VPN in airports, I use it throughout my travels in hotels, restaurants, basically anywhere I'm connecting to Wi-Fi. It keeps your information and location protected. Plus using a VPN allows you to still watch your favorite shows no matter where in the world you are. Get priority boarding if you're traveling with small children. There are plenty of benefits of traveling with children and it starts at the airport. Families with small children always get asked to board first. This assures you have enough time to get saddled before taking off, plus you get first dibs on the overhead bin. Get a travel rewards card that includes priority boarding. If you're traveling solo or just without kids, you can still get priority boarding as part of some travel rewards cards or elite status with an airline. Lift your aisle seat armrest. You can actually lift the aisle seat armrest. You do this by pressing this little trigger button underneath the armrest and it will give you more leg room, knee space, and it's especially great for people who are tall. Bring your own food. Pasta, sandwiches, salads, pizza, and of course all the yummy snacks. Pack them. In fact, reserve an entire area in your personal item bag for just food. This way you don't have to rely on only the plain food to fill your belly, which is most of the time nasty and pretty bad for you. Did you know that airplane food is packed with salt and sugar because the combination of dry air and pressure changes actually changes your taste bud sensitivity? So our perception of saltiness and sweetness is actually decreased up to 30% at high altitude. So to make up for the lack of taste, airlines pump the food with lots of sugar and salts. So bring your own food. Book a seat at the back of the plane. The seats at the back are less desirable because they tend to be closer to the washrooms or sometimes they don't recline. But guess what? You're more likely to get a whole row to yourself if you choose those seats. Who needs a recline seat when you can just sprawl out across three or four seats that you have all to yourself? First class style. Purchase airline Wi-Fi ahead of time. A lot of flights now have onboard Wi-Fi, so when you're in the air, you can actually be online. But if you purchase Wi-Fi ahead of time, you can save money. On GoGo equipped aircrafts, you can save anywhere from $10 to $20 on all day passes. And if you have connecting flights on the same airline, you can use that all day pass until you get to your final destination. For my American friends out there, if you use T Mobile, you can get one hour of free GoGo Wi Fi. There are also credit cards like the Business Platinum card from American Express that offers free Wi Fi for up to 10 hours when you use that Amex on GoGo Wi Fi. Use this universal in flight airplane phone holder mount. This gives you a hands-free watching experience. You can attach it to your tray table or to the seat in front of you. It's got a 360 degree spin so you can watch videos horizontally or vertically. It's compatible with a bunch of phone sizes, so anything from a iPhone mini to a Samsung Note Plus. 
do not leave your boarding pass on the flight. This is because the barcode on it is connected to your personal information that someone could get access to. Don't exchange money at the airport. Try and avoid exchanging money at the airport and instead wait until you find an ATM to take out money in the currency of the country you're in. You'll get the best exchange rate this way. Just look at the symbol posted on the ATM and make sure one of those symbols matches a symbol on your card and you'll be good to go. Do not get a cab right from the airport. Instead, hop on a free hotel shuttle that will take you away from the airport. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it takes you away from the airport. And then once you arrive at that hotel, grab an Uber or a taxi from there, and it will be a lot cheaper than hiring one right from the airport because a lot of the times this comes with surcharges. Purchase an eSIM. Rather than running around the airport trying to look for a physical SIM card, purchase an eSIM before your trip. An eSIM is a digital SIM that's already installed in your phone when you purchase it. Then you purchase an eSIM plan from an eSIM provider and you can set it up so it activates as soon as you land in your destination. And that is it for this round of airport and airplane hacks, but this isn't the first video I've done like this. If you want even more airport and airplane hacks, check out this video. And if you'd like travel hacks in general, you can check out our entire playlist. I also want to give a special thanks again to Nomad Lane for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the video description to get your special link and discount code for 10% off your V4 bento bag. And I will see you in the next video.